blinding light surrounds the party. It captures the attention of all surrounding creatures. They immediately charge. This sucks. The shield of stars withstands some of the blows, but wave after wave of attacks weakens it until... Until? The shield gives out. Dragonkin and gelatinous polyhedra descend upon the party. Do we fight valiantly? Oh, yeah. By fire and sword, you take many of them down, though there are always more to take their place. Sounds like state last year. Their numbers overwhelm you, hacking you to death, or burning you with acid, or both. Eventually, you die. Your body's torn to pieces. Damn. Mikey, I'm... I'm really sorry. I've been playing Elamon for... three years. He was like... a friend. But you can create a new character, right? Yeah. I guess. Then let's do this shit. How do we start? Wait, really? You'll play with me? Sure. Why not? We're not gonna let those shitheads think that they're better than, than the North Brothers. This is gonna be dope. That was a pretty intense one. Yeah. Thanks for playing. It always means a lot to Mikey. Seems like the least I could do. Thanks for playing, Chloe. That was one of the most emotional adventures I've ever had. It's kind of nice that I can bum around here while I'm waiting for Rachel. Look at that. Wells being nice for a change. Like he's entering into a cartoon contest? <laughs> I hope he wins. Ah, oh, man. Did I miss the robot visit? Hey. Wait up a sec. Sorry I got angry at you yesterday. About the money. You were just trying to help. Uh, don't worry about it. You were in a, a really tough situation. A situation I created. When you said that Damon stabbed Rachel, I kept thinking, I'm supposed to look out for Mikey, not bring this shit into his life. I think you saved us from something so much worse. Thank you. Yeah. Sure. Thanks for stopping by. Bye, Chloe. Everything about this fire has been atypical. Hey. Chloe, I can't even express thank you so much. I'm sorry, I'm a wreck. I stepped out to get some air. Rachel doesn't need me crying in front of her. Your hair. I almost didn't notice it. Oh. Yeah. It's... It's not a big deal. I bet Rachel loves it. I 
can't imagine what I would do if we lost her. Me too. You've grown so close, haven't you? Yeah. It's weird to think we just met a few days ago. When you meet someone who changes everything, you just know. Well, hang in there, Mrs. Amber. I will. <sighs> Rachel's mom loves her so much. <sighs> I'm so glad Rachel's okay. Really can't wait to see her. Dad, I'm glad that you're here. Me too, Rachel. It really hurts. Shh. The pain will pass. Chloe's here. You want me to stay? No. I'll be okay. Thanks, Dad. I'll come back in a little while. My guardian angel. How are you? Not great. Better with you here. Rachel, I'm sorry. What? What for? You're here because of me. Because I choked back there in the junkyard. What? Shut up. You were so fierce and I, I just froze. God, I fucked it up. And I'm so sorry. And, and you saved my life. You saved my life. I almost lost you. I can't believe I almost- You're not getting rid of me that easy. Good. Happy that your dad's here? I mean... I'm still mad at him. For everything he's done. But... It felt so good to lean on him. He's my dad, you know? I felt completely safe. Like on Mount Hood. <laughs> Would you do something for me? Anything. Sarah. Mom. <laughs> it's so weird to say. I'm not even sure what she is, honestly. But <laughs> I think I still want to meet her. Are you sure? She could be completely different than you imagine. I'm sure. I don't even know if she's still in Arcadia Bay. But if she is, will you find her, please? You really want this. Don't you? I do. 
Chloe.